Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're up in Malig today. I had to come up and take down my Road to the Elves exhibition from the Heritage Centre. So we've done that and decided to stay overnight. So with a bit of luck, we're hoping the weather improves and we can pop down to one of the beaches and get a nice sunset. In the meantime, I thought I'd show you the view from the window. As you can see, we've got a little bit of rain just over here. This is uh, the Sleet Peninsula of the Isle of Skye. And then over there, that kind of flat looking island, that's the Isle of Egg. And just sticking out of the clouds, you can just make it the very end of it there. That's the Isle of Rum. With a bit of luck, I'm hoping it's going to clear up and uh, we can get a wee bit of, uh, bit of a sunset shoot down at one of the beaches, maybe down at Mora or uh, Kamastarach or something like that. So, we decided to head to the Silver Sands of Mora, which is normally really nice when it's sunny, but it's raining. So, let's see how this works out. A wee hint of blue sky. I found this. This is like, looks like the remains of an old wooden jetty or something here. Uh, just looking around to see if there's a a shot here. It's kind of difficult to see what the shot would be. This is lovely. Yeah? Even though it's a bit dull and overcast, it's just stunning. Try to decide if there's a shot here. You know, we've got a little bit of smoke there. We've got the sun starting to set and it's lighting up these pools here. Well, I might grab a shot here. We have just a little bit of light spilling through from behind some very dark clouds behind us and it's lovely, it's really lighting up the remains of that old jetty that I spotted and bringing out some lovely colours in these, in these rocks. But the only problem is because of the direction of the light is this clown here. <laughs> I can't escape being in it. It's my own shadow showing up. So I'm having to shoot slightly off to an angle so as to avoid the selfie. But oh, it's looking lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. With a double rainbow. <laughs> 
So this stunning double rainbow has just appeared. Uh, managed to grab a couple of shots there before picking up the video camera, so hopefully they've worked out. But for a split second there, the sky was pretty much jet black and uh, the rainbow was a full arc. And then there was a secondary rainbow further out, which was absolutely stunning. You can just kind of make it out there, just a little hint of it there and there. But that was beautiful. And uh, it was all over the Morar Hotel. So, you know, if anybody from the Morar Hotel wants to buy a print, <laughs> I know somebody has got one. We're a wee bit reluctant to leave, but we're going to brave a four or five minute car journey and go around to the other side towards uh, Camas Dara Beach, where that kind of looks more westerly, so we're hoping that's going to be a better vantage point for the actual sunset itself, which I think is, what, about an hour, did you say? The sunset's about an hour away. So uh, we're going to go there. If the car park's full or if um, we can't get down to the beach for whatever reason, then we'll maybe head back here. But at the moment, the plan's Camastaric Beach and uh, what looks like it might be quite an epic sunset, so fingers crossed. Okay, so we're at Camus Darach now, and uh, the car park had a couple of cars, so there's going to be some people down at the beach, but it didn't look too busy. Uh, well, the thing is, looks like we've lost the light. The clouds have thickened again, and uh, there's no clear sky that I can see. But we're going to head down to the beach anyway, see if we can get some nice uh, moody shots over the Isles of Egg and Rum and Sky and hold our breath and hope that the sun may be cracked through at some point. It's about half an hour to sunset now, so it's kind of touch and go whether we'll get any actual sunset images, but the beach is looking amazing, even though it's really dark and moody, it's, it's looking uh, great. Look at the light. Well, so here we are, we're at the beach and we don't actually have any direct sunlight, as you can see, but it's still look pretty stunning, isn't it? So we may not have a, a great sunset, but, well, it looks dramatic, doesn't it? The wind's picking up as well, so I'm hoping you can hear me over the top of that. I don't know if the camera will be picking this up, but there's a couple standing on the rocks right over there, just, just about here. So. We're in the rain at the moment, but I've, I've stuck my telephoto lens on and I'm trying to grab a couple of shots of them in the in the light with that, that dramatic light behind them, it looks amazing. Oh, it's just getting wild now though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's getting very stormy and very rainy. But, oh, it's stunning, look at this. Oh wow, well, that is incredible, look at that. Look at the, that is stunning. And it's just as stunning over this way. You've got, there's a little sandbank there and the water is, uh, is breaking against the sandbank and it's given a lovely set of reflections and some beautiful shadows and play of light. And... Oh, it's just beautiful. But this, all right, that is absolutely stunning, that. 
that was worth coming out for just that there. In fact, oh, I'm starting to get some uh, some rays coming down as well. We were just about to leave, but oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. And this behind me here, this is just stunning as well. But the, the sun here, that's looking very dramatic. <laughs> Haley was making faces, so I turned the camera on. Oh, I don't know. Imagine living in that house. Look at the view of that house. It's got... Yeah, I'm loving this. See, see the just the waves crashing off this rock here. I think that's really, really nice. It's it's kind of abstract, but it's lovely. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think we've lost the light, but oh, that was spectacular when we had it there. I'm going to call it a night, I think, because the rain has become <laughs> quite uh, <laughs> intense now and uh, the sun's down in about 10 minutes so I don't think there's going to be any more dramatic light than this but uh, wow, that was that was worth coming out for uh, I'm going to head back to the car and uh, imagine living in that house there, yeah, what a view they've got so that's it for another video uh, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up if you liked and uh, weather permitting I'll be out tomorrow morning to do a wee sunrise shoot as well so uh, keep an eye out for that in the meantime thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time cheers bye